Okay. Uh, I'm here with Matthew Bishop here in Dalian, who is going to speak to us about his sneak preview of his upcoming book, which is in the final weeks of the preparation, final weeks, final yeah. weeks of preparation about uh, philanthropy, the future of philanthropy and where it's going. We're here in Dalian, a lot of these people back behind you are uh, uh, social entrepreneurs, philanthropists. What's changing? What's new? What's different? And what is your book about? Well, the book is about what all these people who've made a lot of money are doing giving their money away to try and make the world a better place. And it's really picking up on people like Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, and then the more modern entrepreneurs like the Google guys, and saying, you know, they've said they want to change the world by giving their money away um, to good causes. You know, what are they doing? Are they really going to make a difference? Can they really achieve their goals? So tell me, is it, is it all just a bunch of greenwash or uh, whitewash or whatever wash? How, how much of it is real? Because when you come to these big events, all they do is talk about how great they are and how great the things they're doing, and I've, I have a high level of skepticism. Right, well, I think skepticism is appropriate, but some of these guys really are going to make a difference. They are approaching it um, in a much more rigorous way than a lot of philanthropists have tended to do. This is not about building a library in your own honor. It's about how do we educate um, some of the poorest people in the world? How do we give them access to the same kind of things that we all take for granted in our lives? And how do we make them healthier? And so um, there's a lot of challenges that are going to come out of this in terms of you know, what do we think about super rich people playing an active role in changing the world in this way. But I think they are seriously trying to do um, some really hard things and they're going to devote a lot of their lives to doing that and I think they're going to do it very seriously. What is, what is, the, is there a fundamental shift going on here, a seminal paradigm shift of some sort? Well there is in the sense that you know we've had in the last 20 years the most extraordinary period in the history of capitalism in terms of wealth creation and it's been concentrated in the hands of remarkably few people, say 900... Uh, no thank you. 900 billion people. And I, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've just been interrupted by the wine Keep waiters. going, then we're not cutting this. And um, I really want a glass of wine, but we will actually talk about the impact this is having. Um, you know, the, the point is that they are about 950 billionaires, according to Forbes. Um, a lot of the wealth that's been created, there's a concentration of individuals who are richer than people have ever been. I mean, Bill Gates has got more money than Rockefeller or you know, Carnegie or some of the great philanthropists ever had in real terms, real dollars. In real dollars, in real they are dollars, richer they than, are richer than richer. And so, and compared to the budget of a small country with high level of poverty, their money can really change things. And so they have a great responsibility. And I think they're aware of that and they have a great mission to try and change things. And I think they don't really have much experience of how they do this. And so the, the, the challenge in this paradigm shift is, are they going to be effective, not are they sincere? Okay, and your summary is, okay. thank you, we're Dear. live on tape here. Please smile oh, at the really camera. Are. This, is, this is such a happening place, so, Alien, isn't it? We got... Okay, we're going to have to go up in two minutes. Uh -huh. so, uh, <laughs> so, so, so your conclusion is they are really going to be able to make a difference. Well, I think the conclusion is that their needs they are serious, or at least some of them are serious, um, but that they are challenging the way many of us expect our politics to be. I mean, we expect governments and relatively ordinary people to be the decision makers. These people have so much money that they can change the whole political agenda for the world, um, and there's 950 of them. And I think that challenges our whole conception of politics, and we're going to need a new social contract between them and the rest of us. That right, really okay, and, and there's the rules of the game. And then there's inherent dangers in that too. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm a billionaire and I think this is the world's biggest problem and I can screw up things Yeah, exactly, and so these people have so much power. Um, and I don't think they're evil. I think they're genuinely, sincerely trying to make the world a better place. But they challenge our whole assumptions, set of assumptions that we base our politics on. And we're gonna need a really lively public debate about that in right. order to make sure that the rules of the game are ones that both allow them to do a good job, but also allow us to feel that they're accountable and that they're not right, right. distorting our system unacceptably. So that's really what the book's about. Okay, excellent. Thank, Thank you very you. much, Matthew Bishop. And the wine waitress. <laughs>